Pretty interesting day for Nvidia. The stock is up over 4% today on no real news. But is there something else happening in the semiconductor market? Let's take a closer look in today's episode. So like I mentioned today, Nvidia is up roughly 4%. This is a company now sitting at a market cap of $714 billion. And I think I've, always, I've said that I do believe Nvidia is going to hit a trillion dollar market cap. But I don't know if it's just me. I feel like it's trying to get there a little too fast. So I ended up creating a poll to kind of see what people thought. So make sure to go vote real quick. Here I do. What do you think comes in next for Nvidia? Do you believe they're going to go back to $500 billion? Or do you think they're going to hit a trillion dollar market first? Let me know. Um, make sure to check that poll out. But I mean, it's pretty insane, right? Year to date, the stock is up over 101% right now. So it's definitely kind of driving a nice amount of returns for investors, especially due to this huge kind of AI push that we're seeing AI workloads happening in the market right now. Um, but like I mentioned today, I want to take a closer look at what's happening, even though there's no specific news related right now for Nvidia, there are some semiconductor updates that are happening right now. First, let's take a closer look at On Semiconductor. This is a semiconductor company that definitely deals with the automotive market, and they just reported earnings today. The stock is up 8.4% after the company reported some great earnings. If you guys want me to do a recap on that, let me make sure on the comments below so I can kind of do that as well. Later today, we do have Lattice Semiconductor uh, reporting earnings. They are up 2% right now. So we can see it's a nice update for semiconductors to some extent. Some of the big players, though, like Intel, are down 2% right now. And we also have AMD up roughly 0.6%. So it's very interesting to see out of the big players right now. NVIDIA is the only one kind of seeing these gains. I wonder if one of the main pushes also for NVIDIA right now is we did have big tech earnings last Last week and I did do a video on it on my semiconductor channel that all the big players that we know um, we saw Microsoft we saw Google and we saw meta platforms mentioned that they are going to continue to exp um, to increase their capital expenditure for 2023 compared to 2022 and one of the huge push tends to be kind of the ai market and this ai rush that we're seeing some of them are, are a little bit more aggressive than other i think meta might be stepping a little bit behind before they get to they want to see where generative ai solutions go in the future before they invest a little bit more but we did hear big plays like microsoft and alphabet say that hey we are going to continue to invest a little bit heavier compared to 2023 so i wonder after all that kind of digesting maybe investors are getting a little bit more excited about nvidia we do have amd though reporting earnings tomorrow uh, and that's going to be pretty exciting you guys know i'm going to definitely check that out on the channel but i wonder if maybe some investors are just overly excited about what amd is going to report and maybe it's going to transform over to nvidia but before we go any further guys and take a closer look at some other news make sure to hit the thumbs up make sure to hit the subscribe button i'm so close to hitting my goal of thirty thousand. my first step is passing 25,000 subscribers we're almost there also if you want to learn more about the semiconductor market make sure to check out the membership i have a membership down below just click join finally i want to thank the motley fool for sponsoring this video and check out fool.com slash jose for the 10 best stocks to buy now with that link you get a promotional offer for the subscription service now let's continue with today's episode so there are some other updates happening with NVIDIA that are coming around in rumors or reports online. The first thing is that NVIDIA wants to launch their RTX 4060 Ti by the end of the month. And for those that are not familiar, NVIDIA does create consumer GPUs uh, meant for gaming. And because of overall inventory correction and this overall kind of crypto mining, the kind of consumer market for GPUs has dwindled. And some investors might be seeing that, hey, the 4060 is a card that's mainly for the, cons uh, it's a more typical consumer price, something probably around the sub $500. Uh, so this could be a kind of a nice, a nice, bullish flags indicating that hey nvidia sees a little bit more demand on the consumer side so they're willing to kind of leave um to start releasing more of those consumer friendly cards uh back in, in into the market right now with the 4060 ti for those that are not familiar earlier this month i believe or actually in april nvidia announced the rtx 4070 uh this was a card around 600 dollars like we can see and this is one of their 
lowest price release for this generation and we're seeing that hey now the rtx 4060 ti is expected to release and that should be in the lower price point as well so investors might be getting excited showcasing that hey the demands for their consumer gpus might be picking back up so nvidia might be trying to release some of those products a little bit earlier don't like i mentioned i don't think there's anything really crazy happening with nvidia more just overall semiconductor news from on semi we have lattice kind of reporting today we have amd reporting tomorrow the only other thing that's really happening here especially something that might be impacting nvidia is softbank um they are they did file for ipo for arm uh, no market cap has been announced yet but they did kind of submit some of their first filings i might have to check that out as well um and and maybe just looking at more semiconductors coming out semiconductor companies coming out to the market and kind of creating an ipo might be another way of kind of might be another bullish sentiment for the market so i do want to know from you guys though nvidia even though there is no major news happening right now i do want to say the market cap is getting pretty crazy i personally am not planning on selling any of my shares of nvidia um but i do feel like the stock might be a little bit overextended right now um that doesn't mean uh that doesn't mean i'm gonna sell like i mentioned right it's not a complete bearish flag but it, it just tells me jose be worried that this might be very volatile in the upcoming months especially year to date the stock is up already over a hundred percent so i hope you guys enjoyed this quick update take care have a good day and see you next time